Today's sponsor is BT Miners. BT Miners has been a longtime sponsor of the channel and a proven reliable source for ASIC miners. If you're looking to purchase ASIC hardware from Bitcoin to Dogecoin miners, they are available for purchase on bt-miners.com. BT Miners is a trusted source by both asicminervalue.com and cryptominer.com. Follow the affiliate link in the description and tell them SOAT sent you to support the channel of all places, has reported on the new Intel Bitcoin chips, which was actually not reported on quite much at all, but they are out now. And this is uh, coming from Hive, and they are, of course, the Bitcoin mining chips, and they lower the power usage, but we don't have access to them on the broader market. Cryptocurrency mining company Hive Blockchain said this week they had begun deploy to deploy 5,800 Intel block scale accelerator based buzz miner mining systems that it designed itself. To date, this is the first large scale deployment of Intel powered mining machines. Also, the company disclosed that it earned $33.15 million in December by lowering its power use. And therefore, the number of Bitcoins it mined reports Coindesk. Crazy. Hive constantly optimizes its hardware to improve efficiency and lower power consumption. Late last year, the company ordered the production of 5,800 Hive buzz miners, cryptocurrency mining machines that it designed itself based on Intel's block scale custom ASICs. So far, the company has received and installed 1,423 of these machines and shipped 987 systems to Sweden, where they will be installed by January 15th. The remaining systems will be tested and shipped by the end of the month. In addition, Hive plans to replace older ASIC and GPU-powered mining hardware with its own buzz miner machines. Meanwhile, Hive appears to be the largest buyer of Intel block scale chips. Also, the company recently procured 3,570 Bitmain S19J Pro miners, 2,050 of which have been installed already. Hive mined 213.8 Bitcoin in December using ASIC and GPU hardware, which equaled 113.2 Bitcoin per exahash. Meanwhile, the cryptocurrency company earned $3.15 million in income from its energy price hedging and grid balancing strategy. It essentially means that it did not mine when the demand for energy was high. Instead, it sold electricity back to the grid. An interesting fact is that fact is that Hive's production was down about 20% month over month in December. Meanwhile, the company's grid balancing strategy in selling electricity back to the grid more than offset the declines in cryptocurrency mining. Cryptocurrency mining got significantly less profitable in recent quarters due to the lower demand for Bitcoins and because it got harder to mine cryptocurrency, which is why Hive and its rivals must improve their efficiency to stay in business. Quote, our technical team has updated our software stack, which monitors the vital statistics of our global fleet of ASIC miners, said Aiden Killick, president and CEO of Hive. This allows us to have great insight and granularity into the performance of each machine using bespoke API calls as we carefully study the overall fleet efficiency in joules per terahash to ensure we are mining for maximum profitability during a Bitcoin bear market. We continue to strive for excellence, ensuring that as we scale our hash rate, we also optimize our uptime to ensure ideal Bitcoin outpoint output figures and leading sector the sector and performance. Now, we've talked about this before. And one of the big things that is difficult here <clears throat> from a principled stand of, stance of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general is that mining is no longer one CPU, one vote. That's gone way out the window. And with the production of ASIC miners, obviously the biggest complaint was that Bitmain was one of the only for the longest time producers of Bitcoin mining hardware. And it was incredibly hard to compete with them because they would mine on the latest and greatest hardware and wait until they had a new model before they would sell you the old model. But at least they would kind of sell you the old model in a reasonable amount of time. In the current kind of sitting that we are looking at, right, in the current setting with what's happening between power companies and companies like Hive and so on, is the forcing out of like the general public from mining. It is nearly impossible to compete. And once you have things like a custom ASIC that is being developed in-house by the same person that mines on it, and Intel is supplying them with those, which means they get great a great deal of reduction in cost, it means that the competition, you know, the, the ability for people like 
for people to build themselves up to a position where they could potentially run a, a large company like this is near nil, right? Because you don't have access to the hardware, you don't have access to the power companies, you don't have the access to actually fulfill, you know, what your dreams may have been within cryptocurrency mining, where the these large, these stories of like the people that built up from nothing into large farms is really what you aspire to, at least what I aspire to. You see somebody like Bitsby Trippin and you see the success and you're like, man, like it, it was so close, just a little short, Obviously, he has a lot more knowledge surrounding it. But that being said, you were hoping for a little bit longer to get there. And now it feels like that 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 bar is set higher and that goal is moving further and further away because of the restriction of access to the hardware to actually do it and restriction of access to the power and the price surrounding it. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.